Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial, guys. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use track masks and sort of like face recognition slash face tracking. And I'm going to use a very, very short clip. Very, very, I've just got some standard footage. I'm going to show you some new cool things that you might not be aware of. So let's just get right into this, guys. I've got some footage here. I'm just going to create a new composition from it. Right click, then select New Comp from Selection. And when I scroll through it, you're going to see that it's just a guy with his eyeball and he does some weird stuff. But I don't want to go too far down too much footage here. So I'm just going to cut it off at at uh, one second. So just the first few seconds, just to show you the technique. That's all we're doing here. It's just showing you how that works. So I'm just going to, I don't know, trim comp to work area. <laughs> I got to move this back and I'm going to zip it down to one second. And let's just move these things in just for the hell of it. All right. And oops. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, let's just do it again. What the hell? Trim comp to work area. So we're working with just about a second uh, of footage. So let's just hit play. I'll hit spacebar and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just a guy doing some squirrely stuff with his eye. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually kind of map something underneath his eye so we have a we're going to mask out his eye and then we're going to have an underneath layer as a reveal so in my case i've got some cool footage here of like a of a like i don't know some sort of sparkly star looking thing and i've put that underneath it so i'm just going to turn that off for now and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mask out the eye so let's zoom in nice and close put the Playhead right to the front here. Select the pen tool. Please make sure that you are select on the correct layer because you want to draw a mask. If you're not selected on a layer, you'll draw a shape tool. Or you'll just draw a shape path and you don't want that. So let's just go ahead and select the pen tool as is. And also, while I have you here, please make sure that Rotio, Roto Bezier is selected. Okay, so we're just going to draw this nice and it's not going to be perfect, guys, because we're just going for like a, a technique here. I'm not trying to draw, you know, this isn't going to be the friggin' Mona Lisa, <laughs> let me tell you that. So there you go, we've got this really kind of ugly looking uh, mask, but it'll do the trick, because um, we're going to feather it and expand it later. So we've got a mask around the eye, just as is, and again, this is not exactly what we want. So the next step is we're going to select, drop down the, drop it down, you're going to see masks here, drop mask down, click on the mask, and go from add to subtract then you're gonna see that we've got a transparency so we have basically just chopped his eye uh, his whole iris and pupil and all that stuff out and we're gonna replace it also toggle the transparency grid so if you're seeing white in a lot of cases you're like no I don't want white don't panic uh, you don't it, it's not a big deal in most cases uh, I toggle the transparency grid here so that you know that it's transparent and you know that by the white and gray check marks uh, okay, guys, so we've gone that far. Now, the next step, and this is the important one, is when you click on the mask like this, right-click, and you're going to see Track Mask. Now, select Track Mask, and it's going to open up the tracker. When you open up the tracker, here's where it gets interesting. You can actually do all sorts of tracking based on a whole bunch of different things. Position, position and rotation, perspective. What we want to do is face tracking. And in our instance, we're going to detailed features. You can do outline only or detailed features. I do detailed features. And then once you've selected that, go ahead and click the play button. And it's going to go ahead and create a whole bunch of keyframes for us. Watch this. Click. Boom. So we, when we go through it, now you're going to see as I move forward, each one of these is a separate keyframe. And as you see what's going on here, it's tracking the eye quite nicely. So as we go forward, so the guy's eyes moving, it's tracking it. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Normally you would create a mask and then you'd move forward in time and then you would adjust the mask, you'd move the points out and then you'd move forward and you adjust the mask, move the points out. In this case, you've got a pretty sweet way of doing things, save you a lot of time. So what's happening here? We've got the mask, we've set it up, good, boom. Now the next part is we wanna add this in. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and turn the layer back on by clicking on the eyeball. And now take a look. We're going to hit spacebar. And it's pretty good. It isn't perfect, but it's pretty good for, you know, our monkey fingers doing what we do. Now, we can make some changes to the mask, and I'm going to recommend doing that. 
In particular, I'm going to recommend you adding in a mask feather. So this makes the edges a little bit less, like if I feather the hell out of it, it doesn't really work. But it kind of makes the edges just a little bit less abrupt. So I'm going to add in a feather of four pixels. And then I'm also going to expand the mask a little bit. And this is a really important one. And I'm going to expand it out just about a five pixels. Let's see what four pixels. Let's see what four pixels look like. I'm just going to click back on the selection tool. I'm going to click off of it. And then I'm going to hit spacebar. And we've got a pretty good mask. I'm not going to lie. Over here, at some parts, you're going to notice that we actually, you know, we might not have enough covered. So we want to move it over a little bit because it didn't quite get it right. But overall, guys, this is a still a pretty good mask. I'll move it to this frame. And maybe we should move it a little. What do you think? Move that one out a bit? Yeah. And move that little frame, that little one out a little bit there. But I mean, minus just a few little adjustments like this, we have a pretty damn good mask. And we've got a very cool effect. And we did it in seconds. Like it literally took like, you know, when you know what you're doing and you, and you know how this stuff works, it takes like, you know, one or two minutes and you've got a really cool new effect. So let's just go ahead with that. Let's just click off of it. And again, we're just trying to show you the the um, the effect. So again, here we go. We just hit spacebar right at the beginning. I'll we'll chop it up to full. And let's go. Boom. We've got his eyeball. We've tracked it. The mask moves. It's a cool feature, guys. Thanks for watching this. Again, if this was going into a movie, we would do a much tighter mask. But to show you the feature, that's all there is to it. I'll be back with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.